Hi friends, this is your prophet, Prophet Great. Please, today is your very first time of watching our channel. We entreat you that you subscribe, you like, and you share. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Today we are looking at something uh, very, very powerful. We are looking at how to know a fake prophet. Now, there's something you must understand. You must understand that whatsoever has original must have fake. If there is original, there is fake. If there is fake, there is original. Praise God. Matthew chapter 7 verse 15. I read, Beware of false prophet, which cometh to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are destroying wolves. Praise God. This is Jesus speaking. He says, Be aware of false prophets who come to you in the sheep clothing, but inwardly their intention is not to bless. Their intention is not to deliver. Their intention is not to promote. But their intention is to destroy like their father, the devil. Matthew 24 verse 11. The Bible speaks, it says, And many prophets shall arise and deceive many. So, how do you identify a false prophet? There is this deception. They are very corny. They are very deceptive. There's no truth in them. They say one thing, they do something else. Like their father, the devil. How do you know a fake prophet? The Bible speaks, it says, you shall know them by their fruits. Now, false prophets or fake prophets have what is called questionable character. They see iniquity as normal. There is no fear of God in them. Remember, a prophet is a servant of God. He's subject to God. A prophet fears God. A prophet is a messenger of God. So he always relates with God. So the fear is there. Remember what the Bible says. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so there's no fear. Who are you representing? For the Bible says, God speaking says, For a son honored his father, and a servant fearing his master. If I be your father, where is my honor? And if I be your master, where is my fear? So a prophet that claims the prophet of God and does not fear God, does not reverence God. He is always glorifying himself. Always talking about himself. is fake. A prophet does not point himself to people. He points people to God. He points people to Jesus. He preached Jesus, not himself. Praise God. First John chapter 4 verse number 1. The Bible speaks, said, Beloved, believe not all spirits, but test every spirit. To know whether it's of God or not. For there are many antichrists. There are many false prophets that has gone into the world. Praise God. The Bible speaks, it says, For the Spirit of God bear a witness with our spirits. You go to a man of God and then he begins to tell you, Go and bring red clothes. Go and bring black candle, red candle. For what? Go and bring egg. I'll be smash it on the ground. Go and bath in the river. Or go and fetch the water of ocean and bring for me. For what? The raw materials a true prophet uses for deliverance, for miracles, for signs and wonders is the word of God. The word of God is the raw materials for deliverance, for lifting, for miracles. 2 Timothy 3.5 The Bible speaking it says, Having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. They have the form of Christ, but inwardly, they disagree with the scripture. They don't work in line with the word. They don't follow the scriptures. They do things like herbalists. If you observe them carefully, praise God. I pray for you. The Lord deliver you from fake prophets in the name of Jesus. Everyone ordained by God, has a prophet over his life. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15, and the Lord speaking, he says, I will give you pastors and prophets after my heart, that I will teach you knowledge and understanding. Praise God. They will teach you. Not they will be doing fetish things. 
fetish things that are not in line with scripture. Anytime you are before a prophet and then certain instructions are given to you that are against the scripture, that is not from God. 1 Corinthians 14, let one prophesy, let three judge the prophecy. Praise God. And so we judge prophecy by the word of God. And so anytime instruction is given to you that is out of the word, out of the word of God is not from God. Paul speaks, he said, even if it's an angel that appears from heaven with a strange gospel that is contrary to this one, the written word, he said, cause me that angel. Praise God. I pray for you. The Lord deliver you from false prophet. And the Lord connects you with a prophet he has ordained for you in the name of Jesus. Shalom. God bless you.